Hi, my name is Ray. Me and my friends Dodi, Mimi, and Faffles, we love to come to this wonderful library. Over there, on that great book, is Grand Old Holy. She's really old and wise, and tells us wonderful stories. When she's awake, that is. Oh, and we love to sing and dance. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. Over the fields we go, laughing all the way. Bells on bobtail ring, make our spirits bright. What fun it is to laugh and sing a sleigh song tonight. Hey, jingle bells. Hi, Holy. Do you think you could tell us another one of your Christmas stories? I am bored, and I'm not allowed to play outside today. That's because you've been naughty, Dodi. Be careful, or you won't get any Christmas presents. Well, Dodi, if you promise to be good, I will tell you a story. I promise. This is the story about a little girl's Christmas. It was Christmas Eve, and a little girl had just hung up her stocking by the fireplace. Still, she wasn't satisfied. I wish I could see Santa myself. Why don't you go then? Said a tiny voice close by her, so close that little girl fairly jumped when she heard it. Just try on these shoes and take this light in your hand, and you'll find your way. The tiny voice said. So little girl looked down on the hearth, and there were two little shoes side by side, and a little spark of light close to them. Away went little girl wearing the shoes, bright light in hand, higher and higher, until she looked like a star up in the sky. Soon little girl noticed that there was a bright light all around her, and a path right in front of her, leading up a hill. To a big house, something told her that this was Santa's house. Just as she neared the steps, the door opened, and there stood a funny little man with slender little legs and a roly-poly stomach. He pulled off his little peaked red cap, smiled the broadest kind of a smile, and said, "Merry Christmas! Come in, come in." So in went little girl. Inside was a nice fire, all glowing, and all around her were bundles and boxes and piles of toys and games, all ready and waiting to be loaded into Santa's big sleigh. Soon she could hear someone laughing loudly and talking in a big jovial voice. Straight away she knew it was Santa. Little girl wondered if Santa would notice her. But he saw her at once and said, "Bless my soul! Who is this? And where did you come from?" Oh, I'm little girl, and I wanted so much to see Santa. She said, "Ho ho ho ho!" Laughed Santa. Now that's very nice, but I'm in such a hurry. I must be on my way at once. Else I'll never reach that first chimney top by midnight. Is there anything that you would like, little girl? And good old Santa put his big warm hand on little girl's curls. She smiled back and said, "Oh, Santa, could I ride down to Earth with you?" Well, shall we take her, little elves, little fairies, good reindeer? Santa asked, "Oh yes, let's take her. She's a good little girl." They all said, and they were off over the clouds towards the earth. Soon they landed on someone's roof. She knew that Santa would slip down someone's chimney in a minute, so she held Santa's arm tight and close with a bound and a slide. 
There they were, right in the middle of a room where there was a fireplace and stockings, all hung up for Santa to fill. It was her own fireplace, for there was Teddy Bear in his chair and Bunny Cat curled up on his cushion in the corner. Little girl turned to thank Santa, but either he had gone very quickly or else she had fallen asleep very quickly, for the next thing she knew, Daddy was holding her in his arms and was saying, What is my little girl doing here? She must go to bed. It's Christmas Eve. And Santa won't come if he thinks you're awake. But little girl knew better than that. And when she began to tell him all about how she had flown across the sky and how Santa had given her such a fine ride, Daddy laughed and said, You've been dreaming, little girl. But little girl knew better than that. She smiled to herself happily and went off to sleep. What a nice story. Oh, I wish it happened to me. You never know. It could happen to you if you are good and you believe. Now, run along, kids. I need my sleep. To watch more videos, please subscribe. Hidden plants and trees. On the fourth day, God created the sun to shine in the day, the moon and stars to come out at night. One day, Moses went to Mount Horeb with his sheep. There, God appeared to him as a flame of fire in a bush. Since there was no room anywhere else, they decided to spend the night in a stable. Here, Mary had her baby, Jesus. She wrapped him in a blanket and put him to sleep. He's got the whole